This is a new Atomos Ninja 5, and I talked to Atomos CEO Jeremy Young about the new recorder. Hi, this is Nino from Cinema 5D. We're here at NEB 2018 at Atomos with Jeremy. Hey, how you Thank, doing? Thanks for having us again. No problem. Um, we have a new product from uh, Atomos apart from the already announced ProRes RAW, which is the Ninja 5. It's not V, right? V? Yeah. No, but it's Ninja 5. So it's yes. like the iPhone Roman, X. Roman numerals. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the cool thing to do these days. <laughs> so, well, a new entry-level unit from you guys. Yeah, which has been long awaited. I know people have been waiting for a 5-inch. Yes. And the reason we haven't done it so far is that the processors were just a bit hot and you couldn't really jam it all in with all the features. And I don't really want to cut features. So if we're going to give an Atomos product, we want to give everything that we can. So this does 4K60, um, it's HDMI only. It, it, the battery life is really, really nice on a small MP5 70 battery, which was the original Ninja battery, you can get you know an hour of uh, of runtime, which gives you you know a long longer record times from these DSLRs. But it's built for DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. You know, I see you guys using an A7 II here, um, and it's a three. <laughs> oh, it is too, and it's nice, right? It is nice. But why wouldn't you give ProRes to that at a five inch sitting on top, especially when you're doing some higher quality productions? And that's what we really have delivered. It's a nine inch. 20 1080 screen. Um, it's a thousand nits. It's got all of our HDR wonderfulness. Um, potentially, it could be um, it's ProRes and Pro and Avid DNX, and we could do ProRes RAW in it, but we don't have a camera to give us RAW over HDMI. So if you hear some rumors about ProRes RAW on the Ninja 5, it is capable of it. We haven't licensed it from Apple for this product yet, so it's not officially a ProRes RAW product, so we can't be saying that. Um, but if you are a 5D owner or you're an A7S owner or whatever you are, you should be knocking on the door of your camera maker asking them, please talk to Atomos about outputting RAW over HDMI to the Ninja 5. And that would also go to the Ninja Inferno as well as the Shogun Inferno. So a lot of customers I think would be very happy if their DSLR or mirrorless gave out RAW. So you mentioned uh also, it does uh, HDR, so you have the exactly. same Atom... Exactly, the same Atom HDR engine, and we're actually um, working on simplifying that a bit to get, now that the PQ and HLG standards are there, um, giving you options to just viewing that so you can just expose for that. Um, we were very early to HDR, so we kind of made a few choices in the operating system that allowed you a bit more flexibility, but now those standards are kind of locked in, I think, an automated workflow, and we record all that data into the file, so it can go directly into NLEs and grading systems, and they know what you shot on. So we've been working really hard with camera makers to give us more data, because that really helps the workflow to set up monitors correctly throughout the process of, of finishing. And that's super important, because you can all often output something and go, what happened? It doesn't look very good. But really, you did shoot it correctly. It just yeah. There's some incompatibility on the setup between each side. So we want to automate that. So there's also something else new. You're using a new drive yes. here? Yes, yeah, so we have always believed in backwards compatibility for our customers. So we had um, our Caddy, our Master Caddy 1, and then we had the Master Caddy 2, which had a bit more locking in it um, and two keyways here. And it was open because we wanted to open up the media to get more heat dissipation. Um, and SSDs have changed in internally to be much smaller, but they haven't shrunk externally because of the form factor that everything already had backwards compatible. Well, because we have our own kind of ecosystem going on, we've made this to be backwards compatible with the bigger SSD size, but you can see that we call that, we're announcing a, a system called the Atom X accessory range. And inside that is a, anything that's supported by our products, just to make it easy. So if you see an Atom X, Atom with a big X next to it, then you will, you will know that that is supported in Atomus products. So this is the one of the first Atom X accessories. So you make your own SSDs now, kind of like you have your own. Well, we're project. partnering with the other guys, like the the main players, but like this is Atomus branded. And it, yeah, but it, it will probably case. have by G yeah. technology or okay. by um, Sony or yeah. by. There's quite a few that we're working with, yeah. and that is not the same width. It's it's our caddy width, so it's a little bit wider than a normal SSD, but it's really thin. Right, and really short. Yeah. And that's all you need to get like two terabytes into. And you can see that when that sits in there, that's a really nice, I mean. And it en enables you to make the whole device thinner really because really now thin. you can have the battery this next is, to the exactly. SSD. This bit here is, is two and a half centimeters, one inch thick. 
or in my marketing I say one inch thin. That's what you'll see tomorrow. <laughs> and, and also it's only 320 grams or 11 ounces. Yeah. So it's really, really light. And one battery, small battery, that will not kill your rig. Mm. I mean, if I put that in your hand... Yeah, it's, you, very, it's much lighter than the original or yeah. the, the last Ninja 2. Yeah. Yeah, the last Ninja 2 because it, 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 it was, the electronics were different, the screen was a bit bigger, whereas we've learned a lot to keep the screen thinner, the LEDs are more um, efficient these days so we don't have to put as many on the screen. But because we control everything from end to end, and I don't think a lot of customers, I'm going to keep saying it years and years, we control from input through the display, through the record, every, every line of code every processing of every pixel is done by us, yeah. which means we can be more efficient. And you'll continue to see us shrink products as fast as, you, as we can, which make it practic more practical for use. And we're learning that this market is still growing exponentially because of those video drives we were talking about in our last interview, yeah. that there are more and more people needing to deliver better quality. And this type of solution lets you frame better, on your smaller camera. It really unlocks your camera. It unlocks basically. your camera. It unlocks your camera. And that's the message from us is this is going to be, wait for it, 695 US dollars. Wow. Nice in the sweet spot of just on top of a 2000 or 3000 dollar camera. This is the perfect companion. When will it ship? It will ship uh, Q3 this year. So probably around July time frame. We don't expect it to go much further than that. Hopefully we can get a bit earlier, but I don't want to disappoint people by promising something we can't quite hit. Okay, awesome, Jeremy. It's getting really loud here because it's still the day before it NAB, is. actually, to be giving honest. Giving you the scoop. Giving us the <laughs> scoop. Thanks for that, really appreciate it. No problem. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, this is uh, Cinema 5D. We're here at NAB 2018. And stay tuned for much more from this show.